welcome back everyone so just to get one thing out of the right way real quick i'm going to be calling this project project fpiu from now on uh reasons being it is getting a pain in the butt to say ford explorer police interceptor ford police interceptor utility like somebody else told me to say so i'm going to use the abbreviated version of ford police interceptor utility which is what this is and i'm going to be calling it project fpiu so to clarify or to get into the video phase one of product fpiu is complete so to summarize what phase one of fpiu was it was more or less fixing a lot of the just little issues it was having and starting with a few little things that are easy to deal with so starting off up front with the spotlights i had spent six hours one day trying to figure out what was go uh yeah, figuring out what was wrong with them then I spent an hour and a half with them yesterday because I had finally figured out what the issues were. And I will show you real quick. As you might have seen from the thumbnail already. They do work now. And it does go the way it's supposed to. Up, down, spins around. All the fun things. Moving over to this side. Again. Turns on. spins around, does all the fun things it needs to do. And reason why I should say this one real quick, stop working, is because that screw, wait for it focus, that screw on the top there had loosened, and I guess it just lost connectivity for whatever reason. I still do plan on buying a, a spotlight kit from a buddy of mine, because I still want that housing, because it is still cracked. And then moving to the other side. Also going to use the handle from that spotlight kit to replace this because that is a no-no. Uh, I just did it real quick just to get the spotlight to work for the video. But I am going to use that handle for this. I'm hearing sirens. Um, my guess is the spotlight stopped working and the fleet mechanic couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. Now. The issues I found were the pin for that wire pulled out of the connector for it, and then I think they just cut the wire, not trying to take all of this apart because there's an airbag in here. They just pulled another one off of a different car, put it in, tried getting it to work, didn't work. That screw on the top was also tightened all the way down, uh, loosened up a little bit, and was able to get it to work. So again, I'm gonna get a single spotlight kit just for the housing for that side and the handle for this side now while I'm in here we got a console put in as I said in the last video still got to get some of the, the things working on it don't know if I'm gonna put a laptop mount in this yet or not we got the filler plate put in up there which I'm gonna be putting a separate controller up there as well as down here so the one up here is gonna be for like whip lights underglow rock lights grill lights all like the 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 fun lights down here is going to be like a siren controller and i want to get like a bluetooth siren controller so that way i can play like youtube videos through because i saw some guy down in nashville had one and i really want it. um but anyway the the control panel that's going to be down here is going to be for like light bar and the body strobes and that that a lot of that's going to be coming in phase two um, anything else in here? We can talk about what the oil leak was since there's a port of oil in here. So the oil leak was the oil pressure sensor which is up by the oil cooler. Now I spent $497 at a mechanic to get it fixed and I'm kicking myself in the rear because I couldn't wait for like Rock Auto to send one out for like 50 bucks or even go up the road to the Ford dealership like my mechanic did and got it for 130 I chose to go to a mechanic and be lazy and had to spend what we'll would say $500 to get it fixed and then the hassle and worry that it wasn't going to be done and I was going to have to Uber home which would have been another $100 on top of that so I, I should have just done it myself and saved the money but eh, you pay for your laziness moving to the back of the car we had done the chevrons we had also done the PA3090 back here, the license plate light with 
two red ions. We are going to replace them with the blue ones. That will work. I just got to figure out how to get the harnesses from the, the bottom of the hatch to work with that while it's not open. And then we also, again, not part of phase one, but part of phase two, is we've replaced that ion there with a blue one, and then we did the roof antennas. So phase one, complete. We had already started with phase two, which isn't, a very, which isn't very much. Uh, yeah, just that one ion. <laughs> Um, we are going to get those working. We're going to get blue ones back there and working. We're going to get the sound off ghosts back here in blue. And then we're going to get, I know I said before I wasn't going to get this one done, but that one's going to be blue. And then that micron is going to be blue. We are also going to get a dash cam put it in phase two. That was not something I originally had planned for, but we we're going to do that. I might get the siren speaker for up here in phase two. Um, we're going to get the different hubcaps in phase two just to kind of change the look a little bit. I also plan on getting, I think, our 2020 Explorer ST rims, the black ones put on. I'm trying to think of other things. Oh, we're also getting the windows tinted, 5% all around. And we're going to fill out the console. show you. We're also going to fill out the console a little bit, so we're going to get that control panel. We might start that control panel up there. Uh, anything else in here? I looked into the radio. There's a lot of complicated options to get the Bluetooth setting. For right now, I've just been using that little Walmart thing, which has been working. And then also with phase two, I'm going to get the power supply and controller and all that, which I said I'm going to put inside. This came with a Wayland Sencom Sapphire. They took a lot of the important pieces and just left me with just the power supply box. So we are going to upgrade and go with the Wayland Carbide system. So that, that should be fun trying to figure out how all that works. Luckily, I now have the manual for how all the wiring works in this car. And I know somebody that has a decent bit of background in wiring up cars like this. Actually, two people. So that shouldn't be too big of an issue if I can get with one of them. If I got to do it all myself, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But anyway, uh, see everybody in the next video.